I'm Scott Devenny at the keyboard of the Oakland Paramount's Mighty Wurlitzer, one of the few theater organs left in the Bay Area. Tonight, we're going to look at the best. In the early days of silent films, pit orchestras were employed to provide background music and sound effects at each and every motion picture screening. Now, about the same time, an electrical engineer named Robert Hope Jones developed an electrified organ capable of producing all the sounds of a modern orchestra from a single console. Now, the organist sat at the keyboard and followed along with the action on the screen, providing appropriate musical accompaniment and sound effects like bells, auto horns, and sirens. Happily, this experience isn't lost to us. Every Friday night at the Avenue Theater on San Bruno Avenue in San Francisco, you can catch a silent movie complete with organ accompaniment by Howard Springer. The Avenue Theater is recognized as a kind of vanguard of the Bay Area theater organ renaissance, but the Cinema 21 across the street here on Chestnut Street in San Francisco has the distinction of housing the only organ still in its original installation site. Organist Larry Venucci tells me that this theater organ was installed in 1927. San Francisco's Castro Theater at Castro and 17th has recently installed a beautiful theater organ with 15 ranks of pipes, and that number will almost double before owner restorers Bill Ray and Dick Taylor call it finished. An organ of this type contains about 100 miles of electrical wiring through which the organist can command an infinite variety of sounds. Wind supplied by an oversized blow dryer sounds the pipes and actuates the percussion instruments. Volume is controlled by opening and closing shutters in the organ chambers. So um, how does one go about choosing the best theater organ? Well, for me, bigger is better. The more pipes and instruments, the richer the sound. Oakland Paramount's four manual Wurlitzer Publix No. 1 with 27 ranks of pipes, piano, xylophone, mandolin, cymbals, two harps, drums, and a host of other percussion instruments is the Bay Area's biggest. It's also recognized as having one of the most complete and versatile tonal designs in the nation. The historical Oakland Paramount hosts a series of concerts featuring such artists as Jim Rosevere, piloting the console of the mighty Wurlitzer. Now, if you want some more information about theater organs in general, contact the American Theater Organ Society in Menlo Park. But if you just want to hear more of this magnificent music, then get on down here to the Paramount Theater in Oakland. Why not enjoy the best? <laughs>